Hey guys, it's me, a little far-fetched, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. Today, we're continuing our adventure. Hey, you shouldn't be just be wandering around here. You two come here. You're just beginners. We'll have you start off with this assignment. This is the job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post job requests here. You're aware that bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Yep. Because the flow of time is getting messed up. It's wrecking havoc, right? Which is why lots of bad Pokemon are appearing. The flow of time is getting messed up. Time? As in hours and minutes? Do they mean something has gone wrong with time here? And because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up? What's going on here? Precisely. Time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because all of that of all that, we have noticed an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, it's and it's unknown if this is because of time's influence. There has also been a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. Just like this game, for example. Mystery dungeons. <clears throat> His voice is so weird. So, fetch. You know how we got my relic fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it was a mystery dungeon. The mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. <clears throat> if you faint in a dungeon, you'll lose all your money. You can even lose half your items or more. Finally, you get kicked right out. They're very strange places. But every time you go inside out one, there are always new things to discover. They're really awesome places to explore. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things much easier for me to explain. Jobs all take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job that you should perform. Ah, yes, maybe this will do. Oh yeah, let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink, and Nutlaw has run off with my most prized possession, my precious pearl. The pearl is life itself, that pearl is life itself to me. I just can't seem to settle down if that pearl isn't in its proper place atop my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. It's said to be on a rocky bluff, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I could never go somewhere so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you please be so kind to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help, exploration team members. From Swink. Hold on a second. We're only going to fetch an item that someone dropped? That's hardly an adventure at all. I'd rather look for treasure or explore unknown places, things like that. Hush. Yeah. It's important that you rookies pay your duties. Dues. I can read English. Now pay attention. I'll repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if either of you faints. You'll lose all your money. And you could lose half your items or more. You'd best be careful. If you've understood that, all that, I suggest you get on with the job. Mm. There's the rocky bluff. This must be the bluff's entrance. Spike's mission description said the pearl is deep down on the B7F level. It's supposed to be a really dangerous place. We better be careful. Let's do our best, Fetch. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. My first rescue mission. You and your partner can now hold one item each. Now that you have the treasure bag, you can also keep 16 items in your inventory. Some items like bows will only work only if held by a Pokemon. So use the give option found under the item section of the menu to hand it over. Shoot, I forgot how to attack. Is it this? Okay, there we go. 
you need to hold the left A. A pinch berry here is poison. I know what that does. And an apple or gummy fills your hunger. Hey. You got a max elixir that I might want. Max elixir fully stores both ones power points. I played the first game. Eat an apple or gummy if you get hungry. If you get too hungry, you'll risk fainting before finishing the dungeon. Yes, I know how to do this. <gasps> Revive seed, blast seed. Hey, it's Anarith! I wonder what we can get to recruiting Pokemon. I wonder who's going to be the member just like Sam was. Ooh, level 7! I want to take a guess and say that we don't level up, we don't evolve until after the game is over, the main story is over. Yes, leveled up. I'm just going to take a guess and say that's when we level up about. I got this apple, and then we're going to head. Or, you know, I could just not do that. Because that works too. Experience points when they defeat an enemy. Yes, I have literally just been doing that the entire time. Ow. What's the geo pebble? Is that like this game's rock? Gravel rock. Yeah, it is. I didn't read that, so I don't know if there's a certain button that I'm supposed to press to throw it. But you know what? I guess we'll never find out. You know what? That's also another disadvantage of having Chimchar as my starter Pokemon. Is that I can no longer run through water. Yes, I know. I know that too. I found that out a little... Too late in Omega, not Omega Ruby, enough Sapphire. Hold on, moves. I'm gonna set this move instead. Since it's my new move. And I want to use it more. Not Shellos. Now, I've seen the artwork for, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm trying to think what it is. What's the final game? Super Mystery Dungeon. I've seen the artwork for that game, and I kind of want to play it, too. Of course, I can't play it as a series, because it's not real easy to play 3DS games. Unless it's on the 3DS. And as you see, if I had a 3DS, I wouldn't be using an emulator. I mean, if I had a, the ability to record on a 3DS, I have a 3DS. Ooh, a new seed. Pokemon needs a violet seed. Its attack and special attack are boosted to the highest levels. So basically, it's... Steroids. Got it. This one's the blast seed. Don't need a crash course in that item. Is there a new item down here? <gasps> it's another apple. Oh, it's a bigger apple. I didn't know you could even find those in the dungeons. 
I never understood that in the last game. I guess that's just something I never really messed with. The IQ points. But it never seemed to harm me any. Hey, there it is. This has to be Splank's Pearl. Let's take it back right now. We completed our first rescue mission. And by that, I mean exploration missions, because I forgot rescue missions are in the original game. Thank you. That pearl must be propped on my head, you see. I missed it so much, I just couldn't settle down without it up there. So I was just boinging and springing everywhere. That's why I'm covered in dings and bumps. But thanks to you, that long nightmare is over. You have my sincere thanks. Protein! Wait, do we not have a, like, uh... Hold on, do we not have a... Like a storage place anymore? I never use the, the defense scarf. We're getting all the items here. I never use blast seeds anymore. 200, 2,000 dollars. Oh wow, 2,000 poke dollars? All this money's for us? Of course, of course, that's nothing compared to my pearl's value. Farewell. Boing, boing, how does he climb up the stairs? We're rich, Fetch, just like that, we're rich. Well done, team. Now hand that money over, if you please. Huh? Most of the money from jobs goes to the guildmaster, you see. And your team's share of the money comes out to this much. Huh? We keep only 200 gold? That's terrible. Well, that's the guild's rule. You simply have to accept it. Mm. Everyone! Thanks for waiting. I finished making dinner. Come on, dinner's on. Yeah! Crunch, munch, crunch, munch, chew, chew, snurp, snuffle, slurp. Crunch, munch, chew, chew, snuffle, slurp. Ah, I'm done eating. Excellent meal. I'm stuffed, and now I'm getting sleepy. Yep, off to bed. Good night, gang. Good night. It's nighttime. Hey, Fetch. Today was pretty hectic, wasn't it? So much happened. But I'm glad we managed to pull off our first job. I was really esteemed about how Willy Tuff's guilt took most of our money. That's just the cost of training, I guess. We can't do anything about it. What meant the most to me today, though, was getting thanked by Spoink. Ugh, I'm getting sleepy. I'm going to bed. Let's do a good job tomorrow. Good night, Fetch. Am I gonna have dreams just like in the other game? Nope, we're gonna be on Chapter 3. I wonder if you rarely go on just missions to pass the story. Up and at him! It's morning! Ugh, good morning, Fetch. I guess I'll save my adventure. Two hours later. Oh, I had to press it myself. I didn't know what I was doing. No, I don't need to save the adventure. And three. Smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon. Time to get to work. Hooray! What do I do? Oh, you two. Still wandering around lost, it seems. Well, come with me.
Last time he did a job, it was from the board on the other side. Correct. Say we have you do a job listed on this side. How is this different from the board on the other side? Take a closer look. I just see papers that don't really say anything. Hey, check it out, Fetch. There are posters up there that show a variety of Pokemon. Wow, they all look pretty cool. Are they famous explorers or something? Who are these Pokemon? Chatot. The Pokemon posted here are outlaws. They're all shady characters, and they're wanted for committing crimes. What? They're all wanted by the law? Correct. So there are bounties on their heads. In other words, there is a cash reward if you capture one. There are so many aggressive Pokemon around these days that everyone's finding it hard to keep up with the problem. Wait a second. You expect that to catch outlaws? No way, that's not possible! Hee <laughs> hee. Just joking. The bad Pokemon out here come in all shades of badness. Some of those Pokemon are completely wicked through and through, but there are also bad Pokemon who are merely pretty petty thieves. So you've got evil to naughty, and everything in between. So I'm sure we can avoid giving you a job catching a super bad Pokemon. Hee <laughs> hee. So look over these posters when you... Then pick a Pokemon that looks weak enough for you to bring to justice. Uh... You say some are weak? But they're still bad Pokemon, aren't they? Characters like that weird me out. My mouth... It's dry. I'm always talking. It's all a part of your training. You'll work through it, I'm sure. But I suppose you do need to be prepared to confront a tough opponent. So I'll have someone give you a tour of the facilities. Hey, Bidoof. Bidoof. Yup, yup. <laughs> you called? Ah, uh, Bidoof. These new recruits. These are the new recruits that just joined us. Take them and show them around the town. Yes, sirree. By golly, I'll do just that. Yup, yup. This is Badoof. He's one of your fellow apprentices. I want you to pay attention to what Badoof has to say and follow his orders. Off you go. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm overjoyed. What's that? I'm glad to have member, members junior to me. I'm glad to have members junior to me. I'm almost overcome right now. I might just blubber with happiness. Before you all signed on, I was the most recent rookie. Well, I best show you around. Come with me, please. First things first. Here, we have Krogunk. But to tell the truth, I don't have any idea what that Pokemon's up to. He always seems to be fiddling around with that big Colton back there. It's all a mystery to me. Yup, yup. But that way is the mess hall. And if you look to that way, you'll find the crew rooms. And there leads to the Guildmaster's Chamber. Next, I'll guide you both around the places outside the guild. We gotta find our storage area. Oh, is that the storage area? That must be the money, actually, area. This is the main part of town for the local Pokemon. It's called Treasure Town. Oh, I can tell you about Treasure Town, too. That place is Duskull Bank. We can save our money there. And that over there is the Lactivire Link Shop. That's where you can do things like Link moves together, but I guess Lactivire isn't around today. Please, please, please. That's Kecleon Market. This is the Kecleon Market. You can buy and sell items here. Yes! Kangaskhan returns! And there's Kangaskhan's sh storage. Items stored here will never be lost. If you have precious items that you can't afford to lose, store them there before you go on an adventure. And those are the basics for exploration teams. That about covers it, I guess. Sure know a lot, yes siree. And that's good to know. Alright then, come find me when you're all ready to go. Give you a helping hand with selecting the right outlaw for you. Thanks, Badoop. You've been really nice about this. 
Good golly, you're embarrassing me. Oh shucks. I'll be waiting at the guild's upper right, upper underground floor for you. All right, let's go. I'd like to see what kinds of items are available. Let's go to the Kecleon Market. Before we head back, a visit to the Kecleon Market is a must. Okay, so we're going to check out the storage area. We're going to... I don't need to go over to Kecleon Market. Don't force me to go over there. Hello there. Welcome to Kangas Khan Storage. I know how to use Kangas Khan Storage. I'm going to store... Few items in here. <clears throat> there we go. Good, I have an infinite storage. Let's go check out what purple Kecleon has. He's got energy ball and explosion. I didn't even know explosion. Mr. Kecleon! Oh, little Meryl in the zoo world. Welcome, my young friends. Hello. May I buy an apple? Almost certainly. Thank you, Mr. Kecleon. No, thank you, my young friends. You're to be admired. <clears throat> you see, those delightful children are brothers. Lately, their poor mother has fallen sick. So those youngsters come into the shopping for her. It's quite remarkable. Though very young, they've stepped up and taken charge. Mr. Kecleon! Oh, what's the hurry? What makes you return in such a rush? There was an extra apple. We didn't pay for this many. Oh yes, that, young friends, is a gift from me and my brother. Please share it among yourselves and do enjoy. R really? Yay! Thank you, Mr. Kecleon and Mr. Kecleon! Oh, not to worry, my friends. Do take care of... Do take care on your way home. Ouch! We're sorry to bother you. Thank you so much. <gasps> uh, what was that? D dizzy. Or am I... Help! What was that? I'm sure I heard a shout for help just now. Did the shout come from you? Is something the matter? Hey, Azuril, what's going on? Hurry home. Yep, I'm coming. Wait up. Oh, no. Are you alright? Yep. We're done with our shopping. We gotta go look for an item we've lost. Let's keep going. Yep, I'm coming. What was that? I guess we'll never know. Ha! Those little guys are cute. Huh? What's wrong, Fetch? Huh? Did I hear a shout for help just then? Uh, no. I didn't hear anything like that. Hey, Kecleon Brothers, did you hear anything strange just a moment ago? No, nothing under the ordinary. I didn't hear anything odd either. See? The Kecleon Brothers didn't hear anything like that either. You probably just imagined it, Fetch. No, I'm positive I didn't imagine it. I definitely heard it. That shout that I heard. Help! There's no mistaking it. That was Azuril's scream. Uh, are you daydreaming? Let's go already, Fetch. Uh, no, I want to see what items they have at the Kecleon shop. Ooh. They have absolutely nothing I can really care about. I'm so used to seeing the Joy Seed that... It's gonna be weird not seeing it. <gasps> hey, what's that about? Yay! Thank you! Please, it's nothing. What's going on? Oh, no, I said it in my normal voice. Oh, hi! Some time ago, we lost an item that's pretty important to us. 
We've been looking all over, but we haven't found it yet. Then Mr. Drowsy came along, and he says he may have seen our lost item somewhere. He offered to help look for it. We're so happy about this. Awesome, that's great for you. Thank you, Mr. Drowsy. Oh, please. I'd have to have a cold heart to ignore kids in need. I can't turn a blind eye. Let us be on our way to begin our search. Yup. Yup. Whoops. Excuse me. Uh, what is this? That Drowsy sure is a nice Pokemon. We've got to, you've got to admire that. With more and more bad Pokemon around, it's hard to do good deeds. It's happening again. Another dizzy spell. If you keep being difficult, it will mean big trouble for you. <clears throat> Help! Wait, can I see the future? That's creepy. I can see the future. What was that? I'm sure I hope those kids find their item soon. Huh? What's up, Fetch? What's with that grim look? Huh? You want to tell me something? What? You had a dizzy spell? Then you saw Zoro being threatened by Drowsy? So you want to go rescue Zoro right away? It's an emergency? Well, what you described does sound like emergency, but... Well, it's not like I don't trust you, Fetch, but... I just can't believe it. I mean, Drowsy looked like an honestly nice Pokemon, didn't he? I watched the three of them go off earlier. It looked like they were having a good time, didn't they? You're probably just tired, Fetch. Maybe that's why you just had that bad daydream. Was that it? Just a bad daydream? Come to think of it, the Drowsy didn't seem like a bad Pokemon. Or maybe it was an act. I think it was an act. Anyway, we're only apprentices. We can't just go running off on our own. Sure, it's worrying, but we have to focus on our guild work right now. Let's get ready to explore and then meet up with Badoof. Badoof said he'd be waiting for us on the guild's upper underground floor. Let's get to it, Fetch. Oh man, we already have a mystery in the works. Hello, Dust Skull. Welcome to Dust Skull Bank. How may I help? <laughs> I'm going to deposit all my money. And then, let's go find Badoof. Ooh, what's down here? Am I getting too far away? It's the beach where I was found. Isn't it amazing how fast I can run? Oh, I kind of wander off. Let's go to the guild to look now. Badoo's waiting at the guild. Let's move it. <sighs> Can't run off on my own. How do I get back inside? Oh, yeah, duh. Badoof, I am right here. Huh? Are you folks all sitting ready to, for some exploring? Oh, yes, sir. Reckon you are already. I can speak English. Then let's pick ourselves a lawbreaker for you to find. Now we've got our pick of this sorry bunch of characters. Let's see, which one should we pick? Ahem. <clears throat> As your mentor, how about I do the choosing? Don't pick one that looks scary. Yes, Suri, I hear you. Let's see. Eeny, meeny. Stand clear, updating listings. Stand clear, updating listings. What? What's that? What's happening? Oh, the data's getting updated. It's being updated? Yikes, did you see that? The panel flipped over. What's going on here? Get on notice board and job bulletin board to set up on revolving panels. While the panels flipped over, a Pokemon named Doug Trio swaps out the old jobs with new ones. Doug Trio? I think I know who Doug Trio is. He's a Pokemon. Updating data is Doug Trio's duty. He tunnels his way to our guild. Then he flips the panel and updates the data.
So this duty doesn't get noticed much, but it's very important. Yep, yep. That's why Doug Trio takes such great pride in the duty he does. Oh, is that so? Update complete. Up, stand clear. Update complete. Stand clear. Oh, looks like he's done. Yes, sirree, the data is updated. The list of outlaws has been refreshed, so let's pick one. Huh? But what's ailing you? Why are you all shivering all of a sudden? It's not cold here, after all. D d d take a look at this, fetch. Up top, on the left. <gasps> it's drowsy! It's drowsy! He's a wanted criminal. We have to get moving. Zero will be in serious trouble. Now what's going on? Where are you all off to? Hey, there's Meryl. Meryl, what's wrong? Where are Zero and Drazzy? Yes, about them. After we all left, we went looking for a lost item together. But I wound up all alone when Mr. Drazzy went somewhere with Mer Azuro. I called and called, but they didn't come back. I got scared. So which way did they go? Th that way. But you were pointed the other direction. You sure Drowsy and Azura went off in this direction? Yes. Oh, fetch. That Drowsy and Azura you saw in your dream. You said they saw him in the mountainous place, right? I think the two of them were up on ahead there. Let's roll fetch quick. Mount Bristol. Hold on, how many floors does this place have? Oh, I can't check because I don't have my phone on me. Ooh, level 8. Both are at level 8. Level up, I can do even better now. Oh no! Oh, there's a staircase. Food. 